Hello everyone, I'm Nitin and in this video we are going to look at the difference between two keywords, module exports and export from two different module systems in Node.js. From the previous video, we know every file is treated as a separate module in Node.js and to make its classes, functions, objects or variables available outside of that file or module, we need to use module.exports or export command so these components can be imported into other files or modules. Both module.exports and export commands are used to export modules in Node.js but they are fundamentally different in nature as they belong to two different module systems CJS and EMS. Module.exports is a keyword provided by the old CJS module system traditionally used in Node.js. It makes a module available for use in other modules using require keyword whereas export is a syntax keyword introduced in ESM module system. It does the same job and makes a module available for use in in other modules using import keywords. Now I'm going to show you how to use both keywords in Node.js programs to export modules. First I will show you the use of CJS command module.exports in the program and I've created a file called module underscore exports underscore my module 3.js. Here I'm going to use only one function called say hello for the sake of simplicity it will just display one line and we will export this say hello function from this module to other the module. For exporting this module or its function in CJS module system, the command is module.exports equals say hello function name in curly braces. So that's how we write the export command. This module or its function is ready to import into other modules. So we are going to create another file which is called require underscore module underscore exports underscore my module 3 dot js. Don't worry about this long file name. I try Try to use command or concept in the file name which I explain in the program but you can call whatever you want or keep it small. So now we can import our module using the require command which is cjs module system command and the syntax is the same which we used in the previous program and video. So module name equals require and dot slash means it is in the same directory or folder where we have written this program and this is how we import our module and we can call our function say hello using the module name dot say hello function. It is very similar which we did in the last program when we used inbuilt module OS to call its functions. Now before you run it make sure your package dot json file has the appropriate cjs command type colon common js as we did it in the previous video otherwise it will not work. I deleted that file to show you again how would you create that file otherwise that program will not work. So if you don't have that file you go to the folder here and you can see package dot json file just click and it will give you some default settings or commands. You simply need to type common js because this is a cjs file or module. If it is esm module then you type module instead of common js. Once you have done that you can run your program as a cjs file or module. So go back to your program and run this program to see if you get answer or not and now it is working. So this is how you export and import in CJS module system. So go back to export command module export. Now you see the syntax we have used. You can also write this syntax in a different style and before you write you just comment and you can also write module.exports dot function name equals function name and see if it works. So go back to your required module exports module 3 and then run this program again and it works because the output is same. So it doesn't show different output in the console. So if you want to check it again just right click comment this and and then run it. So you see the output is not showing because we commented. So uncomment it and run it again and it will work. So now it is using our second syntax which we have written this module.exports dot say hello equals say hello. So you can use either syntax to export in CJS file system. Let's look at 
ESM command export to export a module and its function. So we are going to create another file called export underscore my module 3.mjs as you can see here and use the same function say hello which we will export to the other module. Note here we have used .mjs file extension which represents an ESM module not CJS module. Here I'm going to show you three different syntaxes to export this say hello function. Now the first syntax is simply writing the command export and writing function name in curly braces. So we can now export this function to the other module. So we are going to create another file called import underscore export my module 3 dot mjs. Note this is also dot mjs file means esm module. So how do we import this cello function just using import command and the syntax is import and function name in curly braces from then the module name in which the function is defined. The most important thing here is this syntax requires file extension. This is different from CJS module system. So if you look at the CJS module system, we don't use file extension. Whereas in ESM system, you must write file extension. That is the requirement. So once you import this function from the module you can simply call the function say hello with the value you want to pass it just like you call a function in any other program so let's try to run it see if it works and you can see you got output so everything is fine it is working now let's go back to export file so we can see how we write the second syntax but before we write second syntax we can comment this whole code so we only get output from the second syntax. So I've just commented and you copy paste this function which you have done earlier and the only thing I change here is the export command at the beginning of the function. So I've included this export in the function definition. Now let's test uh, this syntax. So go back to your import file and try to run it if it works. Yes, obviously you don't get a different output. So you can test it by commenting and see you commented your function call. So uncomment again and run it again. And now you see the output. So the same syntax we use in import for our both syntax one and syntax two where the syntax one is just explicit declaration of export with curly braces and function whereas the syntax 2 we write export in the function definition. Let's look at the third syntax but before we look at the third syntax we're going to comment this second so we only get output from the third syntax and in the third syntax I'm going to use export default. So the only word I've added with export is the default and with this default export we need to remember we can only export a single main value as modules default value meaning that we are exporting only one default value per module whereas export allows us to export multiple name values from a module. So that is the main difference because we have used export default so we have to change our import syntax slightly. So what I want to do here just comment these two lines and write a separate syntax number two for the export default and you can see we don't use curly braces like named export. So when we use export default we write function name without curly braces. The extension is always required because this is the requirement of ESM module and you call the function in the same way as you called earlier. So if you run that program it will work obviously you get the same output so you can do the same thing run it and then uncomment so you get the output again and this output you are getting using the third syntax which is export default. When you import the default value curly braces are not needed and we can freely choose the import name as well whereas this is not possible in export. One important thing here let's say if you want to run this .mjs import file as a .js file then what will happen? because we know .js file can be used as a CJS and ESM module. So let's just copy this file and paste here with .js extension. So we are just changing the file name extension only to see what happens because earlier we used .mjs file extension with import and export both. So that is ESM module. So if I use this .js file to run the same command which was earlier working, let's see what will happen. So let's run it. Obviously it won't work. Why? We know because we have to make changes in 
this package.json file. So whenever you run ESM module, you need to use the word module instead of common JS. So let's go back to your .js file and see uh, if it works or not. See, it works. So remember, you can use .js file as a CJS module or as a ESM module, but you have to make change in your package dot json file so now we are running as an esm module so we change this to module if you want to run cjs module then we need to write common js so that is the important note for you to remember so you can use whichever extension you want but the package json file should be changed accordingly